In this video, we'll introduce a motivation for using conditional random fields. So what we've seen so far with neural networks is that uh, they were a model that could take a, a single input and uh, then through the computation of different hidden layers, we get at the output of the neural network a vector of preactivations. And then by using the softmax uh, nonlinearity, we could get a full distribution over what the potential label, label of the uh, actual input, so in this case, this image, uh, could be. So then, based on this distribution, which we can think of as what is the uh, beliefs of the neural network about what is the uh, most likely, what is the likeliness of uh, assigning x to any different label, by using this distribution, we could make a prediction by uh, classifying the input to the class that is the most likely according to the neural network. And then if we gave it a new uh, or different input uh, here, then it would again compute all the hidden layers at the output layer, get a preactivation vector, and after the softmax, get a distribution over what the label could be. Now, uh, imagine that uh, we are actually facing with a problem where the uh, examples are organized in a sequence. So in particular, if we're thinking of classifying images that corresponds to handwritten characters, uh, these characters probably belong to a word, and then actually knowing what uh, the previous character was might be helpful in identifying what is the uh, next character. Uh, so for instance, we don't necessarily expect uh, to have uh, one, uh, uh, two eyes in a, in a row, so I have a word with one eye and another eye, or even three eyes. So uh, we know this sequence is very unlikely, so if we know that before uh, the previous step there was an eye, then maybe we don't want to discourage making a prediction for there uh, to be an eye for the second time step in the sequence. And we can think of uh, other uh, uh, such sequences of, of strings which would be quite unlikely and just in general the fact that uh, uh, you know certain uh, certain uh, um, characters tend to be more likely after or before other characters so we'd like to exploit this uh, in our prediction and uh, get some gains in terms of uh, accuracy when we use these neural networks so that's the idea behind conditional random field in a, if we have a sequence of observations, or in this case a sequence of images that corresponds to all the characters in the word, then what we would like to do is to actually model the joint distribution over the whole sequence. So I have a, a prediction given the sequence of images as input, get a, a distribution over what the sequence of labels, so the sequence of classes for each character in uh, the input, uh, so I have a distribution over the whole sequence, and then be able to reason uh, based on, on uh, uh, that distribution. So, for instance, find what is the most likely sequence of labels, as opposed to making an element-wise classification and trying to get a, uh, the full sequence. And uh, so this is what conditional random fields are going to allow us to, uh, to do. So let's first introduce some notation. Now, in uh, this context of uh, classifying sequences, then our examples would be pairs of sequences of the same length, where we have capital XT, which is going to be our sequence of, uh, say, images, and then YT, which is going to be our sequence of labels. So notice that Y now is uh, in bold because it's a vector, and XT is going to be uh, our sequence of uh, vector X1T up to XKT. Uh, uh, t. So here the kt is going to be the length of the tth sequence in my training set. So, uh, so now the inputs xt is going to be a list of vectors and the targets yt is going to be a list of uh, individual uh, scalar labels. And another way of thinking about xt is, could also be as a matrix where either the rows are the vectors or the columns are the different vectors in the, the sequence depending on uh, what we favor seeing in our notation or in, in an actual implementation. So with this notation, what we'll end up with the conditional random field is a uh, 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 full distribution P of Y bold for all Y1 up to YK, where K is the length of the sequence, given capital X 
where x is the uh, capital X is the sequence of x1 up to xk uh, input vectors and uh, the sequence that I'm that I'm modeling. So what we'll see is uh, how we can uh, incorporate the notion of a conditional random field to obtain a uh, form for this full uh, conditional distribution.